Okay, so it's like 6.30. Um, usually I don't do their last hay until 7.30, but like I said earlier, there's been a change in weather by about probably 30 degrees. So uh, tonight is gonna be blankets. Um, so we'll start with this guy, Kassam. See if I can find him a little bit better. Kassam, I'll try to do an overlay on his story. That's a pretty good one. Um, I got him to foster from a rescue because not a lot of people have stallion experience. Um, not all stallions are wild and crazy, um, but you gotta know what you're doing. They like to bite. There's, I like to joke about there being a direct connection to uh, cojones to teeth. Uh, for whatever reason, they like to use their mouths a lot, but it's just a super, super sweet man. And didn't, not that any of them deserve to be neglected like that. Um, you can see him now, he's like some fat and healthy and shiny. Um, he weighed, right now he's 16 hands and he weighs, oh, probably 1,100, 1,200 pounds. When I got him and I picked him up, he was 625 pounds, so it's pretty bad. I'll try to do an overlay on his uh, Facebook site, um, or on his thingy about his Facebook page. Um, but yeah, he's going to his first show with um, Callie in March, so it's kind of exciting to take a horse from death's door into a show ring and just show people that um, thoroughbreds are worth more than um, just to use them up on a racetrack. Um, he's a retired racehorse. I wasn't fast enough on the track, um, but he's still got a lot lot left to offer. I mean, even if he wasn't a show horse, um, which he's got a fantastic temperament for, um, he's just he's just a good dude. And uh, none of them deserve that kind of treatment. Um, happy to help. Happy to have helped him. And uh, it's what I do. It's what I love to do. Um, so anyway, let's put a blank on this poor guy before he freezes his little bum off. And I'm sure this is going to take me 100 years to upload on Facebook to see if I can set this up to where we can still see what I'm doing. Probably not. No touch of the palms. And, uh... My friends just told me I talk too fast, so I shall try to talk slower. It is, I guess, a habit a lot of Americans don't touch the phone, get into, uh, I don't know why we talk so fast, why are we in such a hurry? It seems like in general Americans are in a hurry, don't you think? Um, hurry to do this, hurry to do that. Um, let's say when I have to blanket probably all 14 horses, and including the two little mini donkeys here. Which I'm not going to tonight. It's not going to be that bad, but um, on average, that takes 45 minutes. If it's raining and yucky out, it takes a little bit over an hour sometimes. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but that's what you do. It's so like more like a 24 hour job. And I joke about it being 14 hours for an apartment. So it's, it's, it's a 24 hour job. Touch my phone, sir. <laughs> I see you. I see and I do. <laughs> Pass on. Ow, oh, you turd bird. <laughs> what the heck I still touch my phone. Well, I knew that was going to happen, but that's him with his little clothes on. <laughs> Blacker. He's actually dark bay, but. So that's just just that. Um, and I'm going to do probably six or seven of them. And, uh,. That'll be it. Can't blanket the ones that are outside at night. It's not cold enough anyway, and they're really furry. Uh, it's rainy-ish, so it just kind of sucks. But anyway, that's it for now. So head boop.